New at noon, a new tax collector location is now open. It's along North Westmont Drive in Altamont Springs. And News 6's Emily McLeod was there for today's ribbon cutting and explains how this new location is saving the county money. Seminole County tax collector J.R. Cole says he'll be saving taxpayers more than $300,000 a year with the opening of the new tax collector's office in Altamont Springs. I think this office was neglected for many, many years, so now my goal is to really just bring it up to bring it up to speed with everything and get and get more efficiency for, for the people of Seminole County. Curl says former Seminole County tax collector Joel Greenberg was costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars in office leases. I mean, I work out of the of, of the Sanford building, which is the old hospital. He didn't like that. He just said it was old and cruddy. The new building will combine several offices and services into one facility, making it easier on Seminole County residents to take care of their business with the tax collector's office. The Longwood office was closed now, so if you go there, we're not. There's no one there. It's all closed up and tore out. So now everything is here. All the employees, same employees, same service, will be here at this location. Kroll says the county purchased the new building at $1.7 million. With renovations, the total for the new building comes in at a little less than $3 million. Altamont Springs Mayor Pat Bates says the opening of the new building signifies turning over a new leaf for the tax collector's office after Greenberg's arrest and conviction. And I think we were all concerned about what's going to happen to the tax collector's office. And JR came in, got the right people in place, and he he's one of those people you can trust implicitly and i think he's going to make a huge difference in seminole county emily mcleod getting results news six